Queen, the Queen, get one of the injection, then we have to end the game. I tell you, I'm saying get a bad injection one time, I'm all gonna do it. Yo, my name is Delina. Yo, my name is Delina. Real talk. Real talk, Mr. Atin. I've been in the hospital for about 21 years. Yo, God, yo. Oh, wow. One time I've seen put on some holy for weight and then the man just... Me and said the man got to the hospital and get a bad injection. When I see back the man, DJ said, no, come. That image here, we have to use it. <laughs> you're right that's, up them, right up that's, them, how, that's how you get them. That's how you made history, Mr. Mr. Octane, being one of the youngest artists getting all these different brand ambassador contracts, yeah, corporate yeah, contracts. Man. Yeah, man, what are you? Listen, but, 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 but before we even close, I mean, the stories, the information that you guys shared tonight, I'm in awe. I mean, I'm just... I love to hear these backstories. I think I said it earlier on during the book signing that we must share experiences, right? I, I encourage yeah. everyone to write a book the way I did. Um, when you read my book, it just flows like I'm having a conversation with you. Hence why I say you got to check out tradition, right? Write your way. You write the book the way you speak. Just write it. Tell the story. Yeah. You don't need a ghost writer. The only thing you need is an editor. But you can tell your story you can literally even um record it right and have someone type it up but more yeah. importantly as we talk about legacy you know mr octane got on the live you know mm -hmm. talking about how he lost the weight and what he has to share with the people and why he does what he does but musically as i as i myself am entering the creative space yes i'm an attorney but i am entering the creative space I already i'm already on my second book um, and I have my portrait book coming out. It's purposeful. And it's mm -hmm. purposeful because I believe too much is given, much is expected. And you must leave a legacy beyond your children. It's just what I personally believe. And I don't even have kids. So I have to find a way to leave a legacy so the world knows I'm here. And I did. To be honest, I feel very accomplished that I wrote the book. My law school has a book in, in their law library. The Queen, you know, in, in New York, in the Queen's Public Library System, they have it. In Florida, they have it. So I feel happy about that. But what I said earlier is this. My father always says that you do not have to learn from your own experience. You should try your very best to learn from others to okay. avoid repeating that and, and experiencing it. There's no nothing to gain to say, oh my God, you know, I went to the studio um, just every other day. When you, because you're not going to go anywhere when you can learn by watching this and knowing that, well, Mr. Octane puts in his 10,000 hours, you know, he, he would show up earlier than everybody else and he would wait three, four hours to get his turn. Or to, to learn that as a producer, you clearly have an ear for when a song is the song, you know, as we say, um, a pop song, you know, it's, it's the song that's going to take that artist to the next level. But you're going to have to share this in whichever format you choose to share. You can do an audio because we as black people and as Jamaicans, I'm dead serious, need to control our information that passes on to the next generation. Okay. What used to happen when, and I'm not a historian, I don't know all the African history. I am not doing that on this live. That's not what I'm saying. I'm yeah. speaking more from my own experience. I sit yeah. and I talk with my grandmother. I had that experience of, of knowing all four grandparents. So the way I am naturally to share information with people as I learn it is because my grandparents, all four of them, I had the opportunity to sit with them and hear their stories. Because you know they'd love to tell you how blessed you are because they were on a donkey or they had to walk. All this nonsense. That's what I thought when I was younger. But as I got older, I now know why they shared those stories with me. Sure. Their experiences, letting me know I can be strong if they had to walk miles or ride on a donkey, not even a horse, because they weren't rich enough to have a horse in Jamaica, right? Then how can I be in the United States and be concerned about any challenges that may come come my way when they live to be so old, right? And making and, and we're happy. And so I personally believe that you must have a legacy to, to, to share with others outside of your family because it only makes for a better next generation. And if you men, and I know Miss Alton have kids, I, I don't know your personal story, but if you have children. No, Mr. J, best father. 
Okay, then you want to do that. Then no, you have man, to. Then, then man, if we for that year, just believe me. Then you, then you have to do that. And so I'm telling you what you're probably already feeling, but yeah. I believe that is something that as yeah, document that thing, brother. As Jamaica, I, I believe that as Jamaicans, we owe it to the next generation for them to know we don't need other people telling our story because they'll water it down. Have you ever retold a story? You don't tell it the same way the person told you. You cut it out. You might be tired. You leave out a bit. So you owe it to yourself to yeah. ensure have have some kind of um, um in, the way you want it to be told. In, input. Yeah. I want to share this with you why I say that. I was watching a story. I don't remember the name of the guy, but the guy lives in Atlanta. And this guy was able to go through the that entire drug trade. He wasn't a drug dealer. But he was a limousine driver, a black man. And he told a story, I forgot his name, but he told his story, or it was a documentary, told his story, how, you know, how he went through it for years on, he wasn't caught, you know, he was a um, college graduate from, I think, um, one of the HBCUs. And then they hired him, the drug dealer people, like the big, big gangs, hired him to be their driver and didn't know how to say no at the time he was scared and he just did it and he did it well right and he probably got caught twice and the second time he went away for a couple of years not for a long time and here it is he's making a documentary you know how he came to make the documentary because after he got caught and he came out he used the knowledge he had with cars and he now has um i think an automotive um couple automotive um entities but what's important from that story, he's now servicing lawyers and judges and cops at his automotive place. Can yeah. you, you imagine that story? And if he didn't tell that story, there's someone out there who wouldn't understand that if they're in that bad space, they can come out of it and make a difference in society. Yeah, they just can. So you, but you have to tell the story. Well, you see, like, like I tell people, you know, you see, your mind, what the mind can see, it can work and achieve. True. Because I was born in concrete jungle, zone stone, you know, and at the time, it, that was one of the baddest areas in the entire Jamaica. When you, when you talk about Pakistan, you talk about Sivali, Rima, jungle, you know, and growing up, you know, we, me and my friends, we had a decision or a choice to make whether or not we have a follow the crowd and just frustrate badly or we have to divert resources and our attention and with our, our mind to getting out of the garrison and them things. And I can tell anybody that through hard work, because listen, when you're working hard enough, you know, sometimes you're going to get frustrated. Me for tell. Because when, especially in music, as a young artist coming up, because when you're singing a lot of songs well, within yourself, you think that, yo, find the magic. And then you see people just go past the magic like and don't business about it. It can get frustrating, you know. But when you continue, just know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And you say the God that w what we serve is a fear and is a just God. And in True. Looking on the perfect timing. God timing. Perfect timing, yes. Mr. G, Mr. G, who are you with? BMG or Askia? I'm with none of them right now. I, I recently, my, my, um, no man, you with them forever if you were with them, you know. You it don't change. It's one membership fee you pay from whenever. Was it ASCAP you were ever released on? EMI. I, I was trying to EMI already. EMI, well listen, I don't know what they're doing. My my musical recordings are on ASCAP. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you need to go back to ASCAP because ASCAP started in the pandemic started doing these um interviews that they sent out to us as members and I think you can come on if you're if you're not even a member and Shaggy did and and his manager did one of the first ones and yeah. and um it should still be on their side and I need you to be there because the story you just told to me on my live ASCAP needs to 
share that story. Or if EMI is still doing their thing, you know, no, no talk against EMI or any one of them. I just personally like ASCAP. Um, but I think, I think you should, whoever your royalties collection company is, if you're doing that, but I think you should talk, have a chat with, I think you should get back with ASCAP, make your next releases on ASCAP. Um, and I think you need to do one of those webinars that they're now offering to us as creatives. Like, like I said, yeah, I'm a lawyer, but I'm literally moving into the creative space. So I, I suck up any what, information what, what, I can get. What we can do, can exchange um, um, numbers in the DM on. Yeah, 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 Mr. Octane yeah. can give it to you. I, I give him permission to give it to you because this story that I'm hearing today is not about me. Oh my God, Mr. look at Mr. Octane sexy. Mr. Octane came on my live. No, Mr. Octane came on my live to support me and my book signing. Yeah. But let me tell you, God always have a higher purpose. And sure. I think I think the story that Mr. Octane is telling today, I think you both need to get on there, get onto one of these webinars. So one, it, it will preserve your story, I promise you. Because mm -hmm. I found out about Shaggy's journey watching that. And I knew, I don't know Shaggy, like, personal person, like a friend, but I knew Shaggy from way back because when I was in college, he and um um what's his name red what's his name god i forgot his name no i his name shelton his real name is shelton um who shaggy sound like from back then man red red fox red fox god i can't believe i forgot red fox name i know red fox red fox took me to one of my red first fox. little parties red in brooklyn fox. where i had to like scatter <laughs> you see that you see that mr g you see that yeah. Don't know, watching. <laughs> but Mr. G, but Mr. G, what I am saying is I, I didn't like I wasn't like friends with him or whatever, but but like I said, Red Fox sister and cousin went to my university. So I knew when they were just starting out and just from afar, I'm just very proud of proud of him to see how they were doing the college beat to perform and then now where he is. So when I saw him on ASCAP last year during the pandemic, I said, mm -hmm. Oh my god. How amazing is this that this you know man red, you know once Red Fox was like the king of New York, the dancer, you know, yes. he was signed to a major company. Red Fox was Shaggy's done. Red he Fox was. was he was the man. Red yes. Fox was the man. He and was like, um, you know, um Shaggy came along, you know, you have squeaky done. With the up there and couple like of the man them, you know what I say? Um, yes. Before I forget this, I want everybody on the live here check out my new single. It's called Click Click on the Click Click Rhythm. Fresh click Click. Production. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that song right now is on its way through the roof already. You know what I say? Nice. Up Craig Cream and Craig Cream production. That's that's already released. It's on YouTube. It's not on the digital platform. Yet, okay. And it will be distributed um, by VP. Now, VP will be VP, doing the okay. Yeah, they're doing the distribution. But when you can go check out that song, they click, click, and for who don't follow me yet, join in. We're going to have a blast this year. Trust yes. me. Yes. Well, you know what? This is a perfect way to end a lot. If Mr. Octane would stop looking in the mirror. No, man, Mr. no, man, no, man. Mr. Mr. Octane. I do want to thank you for taking the time to come on and yeah. it's an inspirational moment. You know that, you know, it's what I love. I feel like it's my birthday and it's not, it's just a book signing, but my gosh, the wealth of information, the inspiration, cause you totally inspire me as well. It's just amazing. What I do want everyone that's listening on the live to do, please check out Mr. Octane's album moods will be dropping on April 29th, I believe. Um, or if it's not dropping that night, it drops the day before. We're job, celebrating it on the 29th. Right? Here, right here. And, and if you want to do the weight loss or get healthy, really, I hate calling it a weight loss. If you just want the remedy to really have a little better life, he's done it on live, so it's not an infomercial. Go to his page. He showed you his transition. Um, so you probably do want to talk to him about that. And of course, the incomparable... Mr. G, what we got here tonight, I probably can send this live to ASCAP and license it to Rotten and make some money because I'm telling you, this was no, Mr. So G, Mr. G, Mr. Amazing. G, Mr. G, need to write him book because me, him now fabricate nothing. Yes, but it was it was amazing. Majority, majority of women help. 
is still alive today. Yes. So I think you need to do like a like a bio, but a but a visual bio. Yeah. You should. So Anything he does, I I'll, I'll be grateful. Like the new songs I'm going to do things with the street. No. So I can't get the first people in mind. Make us mm. refresh their mind. A long time that thing ain't come out. And then me go so... Here comes 14... Here comes the first man with a box of satisfaction. Hey, hey, you brush your teeth from morning. Eh? You brush your teeth from morning. Eh? You brush your teeth from morning. Are you here, Roland, Carlin? Yeah. I don't give a damn if you don't give a damn. How long will take for results of one night? Hey, I don't give a damn and I really don't care. Take it any time in the pier. Hey, nobody can tell me them tell you no come from. Come from. Buffet. 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 <laughs> me, she want you to see you me cute. A big man, she want. She know what. You know what I'm going to do for you. Call them. <laughs> Somebody call him call him again. Him. Call him a chip in. <laughs> <laughs> Na 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 Before the shoes up on my foot start weirdo. All mama bodo sappy get here down below CR. Speak like stadium. Now, that I'm Mr. G. I love it. Mr. G got the click click out now on YouTube on the click click rhythm. People yeah, on the broadcast, I need you to go check that out right now. Stream it, follow him. Yeah, I need you to also follow Mr. I Octane on all digital platforms. Yeah. He has out Afterlife. That's what I played on for my playlist for the book signing. I want you to listen to Afterlife. He had some other songs I couldn't play on my during my book signing, like Diamond. And next. Yeah. Um, but I want greatest, you to check those out. What are my greatest accomplishment? Mr. G, my post, my picture them back there. Mr. G, I said, you better have to talk in your belly. Well, I know. Why do you, Mr. G, leave me? I said, oh, I'm going to sleep around. I said, yes! That is it. <laughs> That's the new hashtag. Sleep <laughs> around remedy. I said, yo, it works, brother. You sleep down. I said, yes. Yeah, kind of matter yeah, what man, you do. Right, 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 right. 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 No, you like. slim down for real, Mr. Octane. Yeah. I saw you post up one today in a black, black yeah. outfit. And no, man, I mean, like, it's, it's mad. I mean, no, I went to the doctor last week. Go back to the couple ideas. Go back to the couple ideas. Yeah. yeah man. And let me yeah, tell you, no, I went to the no. doctor last week, and they're like, okay, you need to lose weight. So I'm like, I guess my COVID three-course meal for each each part of the, the eatings was too much. You don't know about that yeah, excited yeah. because yeah, we we're home. one, one. one. On fifty-three, no way. On fifty, I made it at one forty-nine, and I'm going one fifty-three. I don't know who reached back at one fifty-three, but what? That's what you lost. That's what you weigh. Yeah. That's what you weigh now, or that's what you lost. That's what I'm weighing now. That's what we know. Yo, me now I'm not close, you know. Clothes, you know. Everything bigger than me now, you know. <laughs> you know. You know. You know. At that. At that. At that. Time, me now have no clothes you now. And I can't well, buy my clothes because I lose weight the same way. Yeah, well, you know what You know that's Wow. Thing, you know, that reach me now, my clothes them start swinging up on me. But yeah, so yeah, you know, man, I have no clothes. So how much clothes. longer you have Mr. G and this master cleanse? If you continue, if you continue, I'm going to lose this, more. This, no, this, how many days he got left on it? No, for this, for this coming Sunday, I'll be on it for 21 days. But I feel like I just have to do a month and a half or two months. That's how long you're supposed to be on it? Well, you want no. I am on it, but what I do so that I can maintain it, I eat like a chicken breast or a piece of chicken with some vegetable like one o'clock or two o'clock in the day and nothing else for the rest of the day except the juice. So the juice in the morning go right up until one, two. Then oh, that's how you get in your nutrients. You're getting it yeah. through the juice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because I remember, so the juice have been maple syrup, you know, maple syrup, cayenne pepper, and 
lemon juice. You know what I say? Well, but trust me, when we say it work. Everybody will have the everybody will want the remedy. No come link me. Well, yeah. <laughs> I say go link them and don't listen to me. Just go do it. I'll be proud but, of you. But, but, sitting you know, in this chair. You want to stay because you want to me, me, me no want get super skinny. Me just want because definition. Me just want. You feel like me feel like me want to stay like maybe 165, but me want go one, me want go 140 first. Oh, me no. Why? Me, me definitely huh? me no want go down there. Why? Because, no because me discover, me read up, and me do some research. All of the bad fat them when me have when my body store up over the okay. years. Me, me have to shed every single thing and then yes. build back up my muscles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Because people don't understand that so when you get fat, they have the body wrap up with your muscles. So okay. when you when you reach this weight now and then you still have bad fat like, you know? Yes. You, you start to work yeah. on that. Now lose no more weight. Now lose no more weight. Remember, say your forehead big enough. So I'm going to show you what I am. That's what your friend used to say yeah. in quarantine, Bon. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to see if I'm out of the way. I'm going to look at you. I'm going to look at you. I'm going to look at you. Yeah, the one thing I'm going to look at you. 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 I'm going to you don't think that we're driving the car and press them and empty that up? The bubble, the bubble yeah. head, the bubble head. Yeah. You're going to look like a bubble head. You're going to lose the weight for the head too. Yeah, look like a bubble head. Yeah, bubble head. Yeah, oh, that's a fire that come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, look like a bubble head. But you well, saw right. so, so Mr. G come confirm again. I'm going to tell the people them. I'm going to say it imperative. Mr. G, I tell you about the liquid diet when on. Always, always a cleanse is liquid farm. Diet. Yeah, man. Let's so liquid. You understand, say, me tell you, and this is the method. I'm supposed to tell you, I'm supposed to sell it, but me I tell it. Well, you don't have to share all of it. You're still no, a business man. You need to pack it. It boils on back to where you chew your food. Mm hmm. Because you cannot eat the wrong thing, right things, them. But you're not chewing it properly. Remember, your body is yeah. 80% of water. Everything that you digest, everything that they put in your mouth and go to your esophagus, go in your stomach, it have to break down to liquid farm before your body gets any farm and nutrients from that. Yes. So when you buy the dumpling, you just chop the dumpling to that. No, no, swallow that. And then the yam, the banana, the chicken, the ray, and that rest in your stomach. It takes time to break down. Mm -hmm. Time for breakdown, and then by two, you do that 12 o'clock, and by 2 30, you, you, you sell them. I tell you, say you're hungry, them hungry for you because yes. it's in there, you still want to break them yet. So, it now get the supplements where it needs. So, it's yes. same radiation to your brain, you put more food. So, your stomach start to stretch and you start to put on a weight. But when you do it in a liquid form, now, your body just extract the nutrients where it wants. And the rough edge from the cayenne pepper and them something go in your intestine and you piss out it ahead. And yeah, man, boy, man, I tell you, brother. Easier, it's easier. For the it's first, just not for work the first you. couple days, man. For the first couple days, you got your you people like crazy, man. Yes. And you can't so start to work. You start to feel like a kid. When you need to go in, you can't, you can't, you can't go all it, brother. Because, man, but let me tell you, I think. Let me tell people, since I start to do that something, it's my second day. I'm going to go out the first four days without food, you know. Just the liquid thing without no you, food. You pre okay, so do you prepackage it? What I do, I mix the juice and I put it in the fridge and then I have a whole bag that I put in there's this hardened ice thing that you yes. add it up and you put it in the whole bag. So I carry it on the road with me. So I carry like one and a half bottle. I don't necessarily drink the whole en entire one and a half bottle because I drink water as well. Because the cayenne pepper and everything going in my system. So I drink the water as well. So the water helps me flush and think. But you see, like the second day and my fifth day, when you hear your, your belly, because your belly now, your system start wondering what is happening. Yes. But and you feel you feel you feel when your your, your stomach and things start tighten up, you know, and thing you know, because you see during the night is when your body starts uh -uh. and farm, you know. You yes. Yes. But let me tell you something. If 
is so easy to do the bad thing, but it takes discipline to do the right thing. That's mm. not a lot Reach. of code. Reach. Reach. You know, I'm, I'm proud of them too, because I'm not running. Me know, me know, I'm not running. 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 I'